Hey guys, it's Agosi the Reggae and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with the next mind tutorials. We're going to be implementing a character controller that we can actually control with our mind. I'm going to be adding Neurotag simple components that we created in the previous video to control the character controller, whether the character controller goes to the left, to the right, forward or backwards. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right guys, so I have a scene right here that I'm going to walk you through. It's the continuation of what I had from the previous video. So what I have in here, it's going to be an XR rig and it has a character controller on it. I also have a continuous tune provider that is going to allow me to rotate. But what I want to do for this video is we want to basically control the actual character controller with our mind, right? So I'm going to have a couple components in here that I call the mind control. And each section is going to be the section that we're going to be focusing on. So if I were to focus on this one right here, what's going to happen, it's going to basically move the character controller to the left. And then the same thing in this one, if I move, you know, if I focus on this one, it's going to be moving to the right, forward and backward. And actually what's going to be moving, is going to move the XR rig because not only we're going to have a continuous turn provider, but we're going to have a continuous move provider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually disable these different game objects. And normally what you would do is you, you will basically search in here for continuous move provider and then you'll add it, right? But we don't want to control it with or VR controllers. I want to control it with my mind. So what we need to do is we need to do a new implementation and that new implementation is going to be capturing and getting information from the neuro tags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add what I call the neuro tag simple. And if we go in here, it's going to be available and it's going to add a neuro tag for us automatically. And if you didn't go through this implementation, make sure you watch the previous video because I go through and basically wire that up. So what I'm going to do is on each one of these, we have a visualization. So if I were to, you know, if I were to uh, enable them again, you're going to see that each one of them has these component, which is called the visual. And it has uh, basically a specific material that the next mind component it's going to use. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we're going to add a new C Sharp script. And if we go in here, this one's going to be called the Continuous Move Provider. I think that's what I call it previously. And if not, we can just go ahead and rename it. Okay, let's go ahead and rename it. I'm going to call it the Mind Continuous Move Provider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start implementing this and then I'll show you what I'm doing on the code review session. All right guys, so what I did here is I'm overriding the continuous move provider. If we were to go in here, you're gonna see that this is inheriting from the locomotion provider and it allow us to move or extra rig in, you know, with these components. So what I ended up doing is just inheriting from that and then calling it my mind continuous move provider. And then I have a serializable field because on the minimum confidence, because I wanna know at what point do I want to move the rig? And I'm actually going to change this to perhaps a lower value of 0.1. And then the Neurotag simples, I show you what those are. These are the ones that are going to get me the information from the next mind device. So I have one for the forward direction, one for the backward direction. It looks like I have a typo in here. Let me go ahead and fix that. And then one for the left direction, one for the right direction. That way, you know, we can control the XR rig on every direction. And then I'm basically overriding the read input that come from the continuous move provider base. And then I get the forward backward direction, also the left right direction, I set it to zero. And then I get that information based on these variables based on, you know, what I have here set, which are different limits. So if for instance, I'm looking at the right directional uh, game object and the lens confidence value is greater than or equal to that minimum, then I know that at that point I'm going to start moving the rig, you know, on the right direction. The same thing with the left direction. If I'm focusing on the left one, then I'm basically going to be moving in that direction. And the cool thing about this is it's actually going from zero to one. So I don't really have to do any conversion or normalization. It just basically gets me the direction of value. And then I set the vector based on that information. And I do the same thing with the forward and backward direction. So once I get those two confident value, I set the vector, which, you know, this is going to allow me to go 
on the basically on the x-axis either positive or negative and then the forward and backward direction is going to allow me to go on the z-axis so i can go forward and backward and i'm basically using the move speed that comes from the actual component that i'm inheriting from that way i don't have to create a new variable to do that so if you go in here i have a continuous turn provider but that's the one that you know allows you to move to with the controller and if i wanted to move with my mind in that case i'm going to be using the new one that i just created which is going to be the mind continuous move provider i'll just go ahead and add it and you're going to see that everything it's going to be coming from the base such as the locomotion system which i'm going to be associating in here also the speed so you have you can set the speed to a different value i think i ended up setting it to a because it was a good value and the minimum confidence i think i did it Let's go ahead and do 0.3. I think that's a value that I use for testing. And then I'll go ahead and collapse all of these ones. And I'll just associate the forward direction mind control to it. I'll also do the backward and then the left one and then my right one. And then the next thing that I, that I want to show you what I did is I also added a game manager. And the game manager, it's going to be responsible for basically re-enabling these as soon as I press on this button right here which is already part of the, the components that the next main team put together. So basically what's gonna happen is when I select this component, which I can pull through here, go ahead and pull it. When I select this component, I'm going to be loading the prototype underscore VR V2, which is gonna be a new scene that I, that I have. It has different obstacles. I'm also going to change the game manager to play it. And I'm also going to be basically disabling the hub because I don't, I don't wanna see these components when I'm playing. And then once we do that, then we should be able to start playing. There's gonna be a timer that it's going to, you know, it's going to start, have a timer in here as well, which is gonna be this one. I'm also going to be using these other components in here to change the state. So when you're playing, you're gonna see that. If it's game over, you're gonna see that. And if you're win, you're also going to see that. So how do I win the game? I'm gonna show you that implementation as well. So let me go into the extra rig. I'm gonna disable these because at, when we start, we don't want to have this enabled. And then I think I have everything set up correctly. Now let's go ahead and look at the, the game manager implementation. I didn't wanna go through the whole thing with you because it's going to, this doesn't really cover what the next mind device is, is doing. And I think I can use, let me go ahead and mind continuous move provider. I think I added that, it might be, it might be a slightly, I think I have a typo. Okay, let me go ahead and fix that. And then I'll rename it here as well. I think I did that, there we go. Okay, so that happens when you have words that are complicated, at least for me, because I'm Hispanic. So, okay. So we have that already associated. And then I also have a couple of comments in here if I'm toggling the main provider. And then I can also undo the comments in here. So let me kind of walk you through this. So. We have, this is just gaming, you know, UI information. I also have a reference to all the different mind controls, the left one, the right one, forward and backward. And I also needed a reference to the mind continuous more provider because I want to enable it when we start the game. So I also have these properties in here that are going to allow me to keep track of the level. So the minimum level time is going to be, basically I need to reach to the end of the level in 30 seconds. So if I don't reach it, then it's going to be, I'm going to be losing. This one is going to be the distance, right? So I'm going to be able to, I need to go at least 62 meters away from the starting point to be able to beat the level. And then, you know, a couple of level states, this is just setting up the UI. And then when I play, I'm going to start the timer. I'm going to change the game state to playing. I'm going to actually enable everything on the mind provider, which is going to be all the different mind controls. And I'm also going to enable the mind continuous move provider. And then on update, this is just checking to make sure that either did I, am I playing right now? Did I win the game? Did I lose the game? That's basically what this is doing. And then this is just to keep track of the score just to see if I beat my best score. If I didn't beat my best score, then it's gonna basically give me the last score. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out just to make sure that everything works. So make sure that you go through the calibration just so that everything works accurately. So I'm gonna go ahead and start playing. And we go forward, come on, move. Okay, that's working. Come on, come on, go, go forward. Okay, I'm focusing on the forward right now. I wanna make sure that I beat the game, come on. I'm focusing on it, focusing on it, come on. So that's when you wanna start playing with that value. Otherwise, it's it might be, I think, too, too high right now to be able to move. So I'm gonna focus a little bit more. 
and it looks like I lost. So I only had 30 seconds to be able to play this. Let me go ahead and adjust that value. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play to stop it. And then remember the value that we set on the mine continuous provider. So we can go back in here to the rig. You're going to see that the minimum confidence is it's a little bit high. I think if we set it to a one and let's set this value, the move speed to 10 so we can go a little higher. Okay, let's go ahead and try now. I'm going to also try to see it straight just to make sure. I'm going to go ahead and there we go. And I'm focusing on the forward. Let me go ahead and go to the right. You can see, there we go. Come on, go forward, forward. And we beat the game. So we beat it in 14 seconds because I set the value to the move value to a higher number, right? So that's a little bit, I, I wanted to cheat a little bit, but I think that proves the concept. Let me go ahead and go back to A and see if we can do, if we can do it or maybe beat or 21 that we had before. I'm gonna go ahead and go forward. And because we have a character controller, we're colliding with everything. I'm just gonna go to the left a little bit. And I think I have these, come on. Okay, so if I look at the left, it, it takes me right. Okay, let's fix that issue as well. So the other thing that I didn't do in here is we needed to multiply this number, right? Because if we go on the opposite direction, we wanna make sure that we change this to a negative one. Let me do that as well here. Otherwise, it's, not, it's always gonna go on the, you know, on the opposite, on the right direction or always forward, we're never gonna be able to go back. Okay, so I'm gonna focus on the forward direction right now. Let's go ahead and go left. Okay, so left is now working. Let's go ahead and go right. Come on, let's focus, there we go. Let's go ahead and go forward. And the cool thing with this is I can start moving. Okay, let's go ahead and go forward. And I'm focusing on that one right now. Let's go ahead and go right, forward. And okay, we, we had 23 seconds, under 30, we still won the level but everything works so that's everything that i wanted to show you guys today if you guys want to get access to the code that i have in here just so that you know it's easier for you to follow make sure that you follow me in patreon because i'm basically making that available so that's everything for today thank you guys